guys, so today I figured, since I'm still editing the new episode that should be coming out sometime this weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, most likely Sunday, but uh, I was thinking, since I've gotten this question a lot about uh, asking what cameras we use and whatnot, so I figured I'd go through all of it. All right, to start out, this was the first actual camera that we used on the channel. It's a Canon Vixia HF R500, no um, internal memory at all, it's just pure SD card in there, oops, turn it on. But uh, very good camera, I believe it costs like 200 bucks or something, so it's really not expensive at all. And basically this is probably the best camera that you could start out with if you're thinking about starting like say, a uh, car channel or a car spying channel, preferably car spying is what this works for because it has incredible zoom and Really good quality overall, I mean, great stabilization for 200 bucks. I mean, can't really go wrong with that, it's a Canon product, so you know it's most likely going to be good. And to carry it around, I have some case logic case or whatever, so yeah, carry around that. It's actually a really nice case, I love it. Fits right on in there. And the next camera, which is actually the one we originally started filming our videos on, is my phone. It's just a Samsung Galaxy S5. You'll occasionally see a video on the channel using this because um, I'll either be out and about and won't have time to get a video up to the, today, like one that I can edit, so I'll just use this for a quick upload. Look at that TC though, that's nice. But uh, the third camera I use, I will have to go to my bathroom. And so what you see here is actually a nice Sony action cam. I believe it's the AS200V. So uh, it has steady shot in it, which is really, really good. That's one of the main reasons why you should probably pick this over the GoPro is because of the steady shot. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that the GoPro has any um, stabilization whatsoever at all inside the camera, at least. But uh, as you probably can't see, I don't know if you can see it right there, but it has a tiny screen on the side of it. I'll tell you what mode you're in and how long the video has been recording. So it doesn't have a screen like the GoPro does, but in my opinion, you don't really need it with this wide angle of a lens because you basically know what you're pointing at is what you're filming. Like, see, there's my cat. So yeah, what you're, what you're pointing at is what you're filming. So the screen to me is just unnecessary. Plus, it also has a uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, so you can connect it to your um, phone so you can see what you're filming from your phone if you really have to, which is also good for say if you're mounting it onto your car or inside your car so you can just use that as it should be really easy and here is the editing software we use okay originally i used to use uh cyberlink power director 11 it was a piece of shit i'm not gonna lie it crashes about every five minutes so it at least taught me to save my work when i'm editing but uh what i use now is um sony vegas pro 13.0 or whatever uh, really good, really fast actually, very fast and really smooth actually, so it's really good. I highly recommend it, and this is totally not the torrent of it. I completely paid full price, which is very expensive. I almost just forgot to show you guys what PC I use. It's, uh, I believe it's the HP uh, NV H8 PC series, I believe, or whatever, but it has Beats Audio. I mean, it's it's pretty much the cheapest good desktop you can buy, I'd say. I don't know. I could be wrong. Got this a few years ago. It's worked well for me. It only broke once, and then I got it repaired, and hasn't had any problems since. So it's relatively good and cheap. So if you're looking for a starter desktop out here, I don't know, maybe go for this. I don't know. I'm not really a big computer guy, so if anyone out there in the comments wants to suggest another one that any beginners can use, then just... Listen to them, because I, I don't know shit about computers.